being in foreclosure is a very stressful time. If you are in foreclosure and you want to know your options, reach out to me. There's many options and there's a lot of misinformation out there. Most of you have heard of the option of a short sale, a deed in lieu, just leaving the keys on the table and walking away and letting the bank have it and foreclosing. Maybe you're trying to keep your home and you want to do a modification or a refinance. Reach out to me. We're here to help you. I'm here at AM 560 The Answer with David Hochberg at the Townstone Financial Show. We're here to answer your questions. I'm Lauren Shu. Here are some clients of mine that have called in and have left some testimonials for you to listen to. Enjoy. Karen, how are you? Welcome to the show. How are you? Hi, I'm great. Thank you. How are you? Happy uh, New Year. Happy New Year to you. Happy so, New Year. So, happy New Year. So let me just set this up. I met okay. Karen's husband about two years ago. Okay. At, at an event. And he came to me and he's like, I've been hearing you on the radio. I haven't seen you on TV. I, I, I've got a situation. And he explained the situation. He owns a house with his ex-wife, Karen. Karen's the ex-wife. Right. Okay. I am. <laughs> um, right. We went through a divorce. Everybody's getting along as best everybody could get along. We've got some particular situations going on with the kid living there and the, all this stuff. But we're getting killed. I can't afford this thing. She can't afford this thing. We got to get rid of this home. How do we get it done? And I'm like, first of all, switch to decaf because he's a very highly emotional guy. (laughs) Right, Karen? He's got a lot of energy. He's got a lot of emotional energy. And he just wanted to get rid of this thing. And he didn't know if if Karen would go for it. And I, he didn't know all the things and he didn't want this and that. And I'm like, stop. I'm like, just, just talk to Kate and Lauren. All right. I'm like, I can't help you. He wanted me to try to refinance Karen off the loan, and but the home was too far upside down. Can't do down. that because exactly. he owed, exactly. it was yeah. worth a lot less than what they owed. And right. actually, right. you know, Karen. Wait, thought, hang on. How much did they? How much did Karen and her ex-husband owe on the home? You know, I don't have the payoffs in front of me, but I want to say it was something around four fifty, four eighty. Does that okay. sound right, Karen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was up there. Mm-hmm. Four fifty, four eighty. It sold at three in the three thirty range. Okay, so okay. one hundred twenty to one hundred fifty G's right. under. Okay. And, and here, right. you know, to anyone listening in this situation, what I because I think there, I've had this happen a lot. They were divorced a long time ago. Yeah. And he kept the house. She moved on with her life. I believe you guys did like quit claim and just. He's yeah, on, he's I on the house. Quick claim, but we, yeah. like uh, David said, I was unable to refinance, so I remained on the mortgage. Right. right. So they moved on with their lives, but here we are, years later, right. and mm-hmm. the husband's face with the ex-husband is faced with the situation and needs to sell the house. And Karen thought she was done with this home a long time ago and moved on with her life. Right. Well, it turns out he needs to sell it, and because she's still on the mortgage, she is still on the hook just as much as he is to get this property right. sold. Correct. So, and, and hang on, that's so Karen again. Let's yeah. just let's just Karen got divorced a long time ago. Hasn't been living right. in the home for a long period of time, but she right. still's got this ankle, this anchor around her ankle. This house she forget, did. Well, she did yeah. up until you know the end of last year, but a couple of days ago, a couple yeah. of days ago. But she <laughs> still had that home in her life, and she yeah. was she moved on, but she couldn't fully move on. Until this the, the situation, this this opportunity, right. this this problem with the two mortgages on the home that was worth one hundred fifty thousand dollars less than what they owed. Right, and bottom and line to Lauren, <laughs> we have a very happy ending. Well, there you go. Oh, I like happy ending. So, so what? So, <laughs> so and who doesn't? So, Karen, explain what Lauren did for you. Okay. Well, first of all, Lauren was amazing, and. You know, from the start of our decision to proceed with a short sale, Lauren spent so much time with us going over the whole process, which, as you know, there's so many phases to it. Um, She was wonderful. There was a wonderful presentation we did um, online with her, and it just described every step that we had to take. She answered all our questions during the whole process, always was timely with whatever we needed to sign or gather and had so many helpful hints, and, you know, it it was typical to maybe not, you know, the first buyer, it's very typical for that maybe not to work out, but don't worry, we'll get another one, in which we did, and it just worked out for the best, and I I really appreciate Lauren's, um, you know, the way she worked with us. How much experience with short sales did you have before Lauren brought this up to you and your ex-husband? Negative zero. There you go. (laughs) And, 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 And just, what it took about... Uh, about four months after I they think finally we were about three months total because 
by the it when, was quick. Yeah, when I met them, you know, they were concerned about getting this closed by the end of the year so that they could fall under the mortgage forgiveness debt relief act, and they are just as concerned as all my clients were. And I told them, hey, that with was the stressful part, yeah. yeah, with your bank, typically they do move pretty fast. I had a lot of experience working with their bank before. They had two loans, two mortgages on the house. We had two short sales to negotiate, two loans to get settled, two short sale approval letters needed. We got it done, and they were great to work with as long as my sellers and, you know, Karen was my seller here, as long as they get back to me and get what I need from them in a timely manner and right. get everything back, yeah. I can push this file um, forward as fast as I can. And they were able, start to finish, we got a buyer, we closed, start to finish was about three months. Yeah, it was, and that, yeah, like you said, that was two buyers. Right, two buyers, because yeah. we did lose our first buyer. The bank came yeah. in at a price. The The first buyer did, walked fine. We we now know what the bank wants. We found a buyer mm-hmm. to meet what the bank wanted. We went back under contract with the new buyer, and we got them closed. It was like clockwork almost. It was so, everything that happened, Lauren said it would happen, and she just was amazing with the, every step of the way. Now, when I first talked to your husband, he didn't think that you'd be a fan of doing something like this. What was, I we, well, I don't, I don't know. You know, your ex-husband, he's a little mashuggy, but you know what, um, but you know, you know, he, I, I, I would just say he was concerned because it is going to take a little damage on your credit report. Okay. And I think he, that was his concern for your credit and, and, and just that, you know what I mean? He knew that you wanted to get out of this home and that was his major goal. And I said, well, you know, he's like, well, is it going to impact our credit? And I go, yeah, it's going to impact your credit. Of course it is. I mean, you know, you're going to take it less. And I think that was a major concern of his um, for him and you. In your own words, was that a concern of yours? And did you really care? No, I didn't care because, yeah, the short sale affects your credit. But that's actually a temporary thing where the other situation was a permanent thing. If Thank we you. weren't going to do anything with that house, I had no chance of ever getting good credit back. Thank you very much. Now I can proceed with my life. I know that my credit is only going to get better from here. And yes. thanks to Lauren, it is. You're 100 And you know what? She's 100%. And that's the, that's the best way to look at it. Right. And, you know, I told Karen, hey, now that we're done with the short sale, it's closed, it's over. Yes, you have some missed mortgage payments on your credit. You also have a short sale, two short sales reported to your credit. Right. One from the first right. mortgage, one from the second. Right. And so, yeah, did you take some dings? Yes. And yeah. guess what, though? When you pull your credit in three to four months, what also yeah. happened? You re, you relieved about $450,000 worth of debt off uh, your credit. Yes. So now your credit scores, it, it, it goes down and then it goes up. To counterbalance. That's how Gary Novell yeah. explained it yeah. to me. And I referred Karen mm-hmm. to call him yeah. in a couple months once it's all reported, and I said and done. And I will be doing that. Yeah. 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 That'll be the best, whatever he charges you, the best $300 that you'll spend. Do you have credit right now, Karen? I mean, credit cards and. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and, you. and, you know, use those. And another, another way to counter counteract and counterbalance what you just went through is pay those credit cards off. If you can, every time you get paid or every week, right. And keep those credit yeah. card balances low. And that will also help you offset what, you know, the kick in the chops that you just went through right. with the late right. mortgage payments and, and the short sale. But how does it feel? I mean, in your own words, it, oh. how, you know, you, you got rid of your ex-husband. I'm sure that was great, <laughs> you know, great feeling. But, but, but now you always had a, a, an attachment to him with this home. How does it feel to be completely, go- in 2014, to be free, 100% free? As you would imagine it, fantastic. Just a huge weight has been lifted. I feel like I can just move forward now. And like I said, looking forward to, you know, better credit and better finance, you know, stability financially and, you know, a big lesson learned. And, yeah, just a huge weight has been lifted. And how much did Lauren charge you for her services? (laughs) Nothing. There you go. I mean, that's. (laughs) That's what is so astounding is the level of, you know, service she provided. And I didn't literally pay one dime. There you go. So you got rid of officially now completely eliminated your relationship or any ties with your ex-husband. It didn't cost you anything financially to Lauren for all the hard work and efforts that she gave you. You're, right. you're starting 14 on a new path, a golden path where you could just move down the yellow brick road to prosperity yeah. And in in your own words, for other people that are even thinking about a short sale, what would you tell them about picking up the phone and calling Lauren and Kate? I would say do not hesitate any longer. 
pick up the phone and call Lauren and listen to what Lauren has to say and all the opportunities that that short sale gives for you to get rid of your anchor <laughs> um, and to proceed with better financial stability. There you go. Yeah. I couldn't have said it better myself. And Karen, you are great to work with. And thank you for trusting me with your short sale and being, you know, so reliable to get documents back. And, you know, I I do I do want to tell everybody in a short sale, the realtors get paid by the bank. So it's I did not charge Karen anything. I do. I do not. You cannot. I do not and cannot charge my sellers anything. When the property closes, the realtors get paid by the bank. They get paid a normal commission like you would mm-hmm. in any normal mm-hmm. sale. It's just the bank is accepting the loss and paying all the closing costs on the seller's behalf in a short sale. So that is how we get paid. But I, if Karen, if something changed and she didn't want to do this anymore and they want to keep the house and th- something changes, fine. Keep mm-hmm. your home. I'm not here to charge you anything or force you to sell it. Keep it. Great. Good for you. Things mm-hmm. change. But in this situation, nothing changed. They needed to sell this home. They needed to move on. And... Happy ending for everyone. All right, Karen, happy, healthy new year to you, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for calling. I'm glad it all worked out. And when you you need a mortgage in the future, give me a call, all right? Will do. Thank you. Take care. 312 642 5600. Happy, happy ending for Karen. Happy new beginning for Karen as well. I'm Lauren Shu, and I am Exit Realty Redefined.